Hey everybody, happy 4th of July to you. How y'all doing out there? I hope you guys are doing well out there. I'm just stopping by real quick to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. It is a very hot and dry and windy 4th of July here. So, celebrating 4th of July with fireworks in California, at least in the Bay Area where I'm at, in the Valley, uh, it's not a good idea <laughs> to light off fireworks. I am stuck with a whole bunch of fireworks Unfortunately, some of them were my friends. Unfortunately, he had passed away, and so I'm stuck with all these fireworks. Let me, hold on, let me show you. Hey. Hey. Can you see that? <laughs> all right. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, look at this. All right. Can you see that? There you go. Like Vanna White. Look at that. See? I've had those for about a couple years. Been wanting to get rid of them. I've been trying to sell them off, and my friend was supposed to buy them, and he never got back in touch with me. He's been busy working now. He got a new job, or he's working with somebody he knows. And so, uh, I don't know. And because of the conditions here in the Bay Area, this Fourth of July, it's it's 108. So I'm I'm making this video super quick because it's it's right now eight in the morning, close to eight in the morning, and it is already. What does the temperature say? that it's almost 80 degrees and so it's predicted to be about 108 and windy where I'm at very dry conditions so I have no desire to blow those things off I'm trying to get rid of them I might have to blow them off New Year's Eve or something like that I don't know hey I just I, I don't know I'm stuck with a whole bunch of illegal fireworks I mean you get caught with these things here in California forget it you are uh, in big trouble a lot of people have suggested that maybe I could go to Oakland and light them off there, which is a very good suggestion because there's, I mean, literally, if you're looking for a fireworks show display to watch in the Bay Area, you just go to the Oakland Hills and just look over and the whole city is lit up. It's just incredible what goes on in Oakland with the fireworks. Um, very familiar with that. But I don't live anywhere near Oakland. Uh, I'm about like 20, 30 miles away, maybe. But, yeah, I, maybe I'll go out there and I'll blow, blow them off out there. I don't know. I, I got to get rid of them. I don't like it. I, I love fireworks. I, I'm, I'm a, when it comes to fireworks, I'm a juvenile. When it, <laughs> I, I love buying them and blowing them off. But, you know, that was, it, it was much easier, you know, about five years ago. I don't know why people all of a sudden are frowning upon it. I know it's illegal. Don't get me wrong. But I, I just... It was so much easier to get rid of fireworks <laughs> five years ago. Now, for for whatever reason, you can't. But I've had these for a couple couple years. They're still good. They're just waiting to be blown off. I don't ha again. I don't have any desire to blow them off and under these conditions. So I guess I'm stuck with them until New Year's Eve. Uh, I'm just gonna plan on getting the fuck out of here. It's gonna be 108 in the valley again. It was madness. I had my air conditioner going for about 12 hours. And I think I got my, I think it peaked in here at 85 degrees. I'm upstairs, so heat rises, right? And I get the western exposure that comes over and just bombards me with fucking UV rays for a constant at least seven hours. And so I bought one of those shade cloths. I put it up. It's like a 90% shade cloth. And it covers, you know, my, my patio area partially. Helps out. Knocks down the knocks down temperature inside about maybe 10 degrees, but the whole apartment isn't completely covered, so I might have to get another shade cloth. And it's just brutal. It's really brutal, you know. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I got fans going. You got the you see, you got the tower fan right there blowing in my face. I got an, a, another fan right there, an oscillating fan up there. I mean, I'm keeping it down, you know, but. Whew, it's brutal so i think i'm going to escape go to the bay maybe jump into the filthy water the bay water <laughs> just to cool down i mean it's been like this now for three days it's it's been it's going to be like this for another week and uh i don't know i might just end up packing up some of my stuff and doing some road tripping some camping out towards the the ocean to the you know highway one You've seen me. I've done videos on that. And so, I don't know. I was thinking about doing that as well. Who knows? But anyhow, I just wanted to wish everybody uh, happy 4th of July. No episodes. 
I'm not going to give you a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to wish you a happy 4th of July. I'll come back sometime at the end of July, mid-July, or end of, end of July, and start a whole new season, whole new look, whole new everything. Um, that's about it. So, I hope all of you are doing well. I hope all of you don't drink and drive, and I hope all of you sign up for my uh, X account so you can get the notifications when I start dropping episodes again. All right. Until next time, guys, if you know if you're in California and you you know somebody who wants to you know buy some of these, I'll, I'll sell it to you dirt cheap. All these fireworks, I gotta get rid of them. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Don't be a snitch. Don't rat me off. Don't <laughs> don't don't call the police on me about having these. <laughs> Probably some of you would, rat bastards. But anyhow, I gotta get ready. I gotta get the hell out of here. It's almost what it's eight o'clock, and I gotta beat the heat. So. Stay safe out there. Happy 4th of July. Happy birthday, America. Love you. And talk to you guys soon. Peace out, everybody.